Hi everyone, uh, I'm Liora from Home Chocolate and today I'm going to show you how I'm using our new molds um, uh, which we are testing for our cocoa blocks. I just uh, uh, finished uh, uh, grounding uh, our milk uh, cocoa blocks and it looks like this, uh, showing you here, okay. Now not working, so it's quiet. Um, so I was waiting for the mixture uh, of the milk and the cocoa butter to cool down because I'm going to temper it so it will look fine and shiny. Uh, let's check the temperature. Ah, perfect, 34 degrees. I'm going to use um, cocoa seeds for the tempering. This is a neat way uh, to temper. So I'm adding 1% um, of clean uh, crystals of cocoa uh, inside here. These are crystals I produced uh, a while ago. And now for the mixing. I want to keep it short so it won't get too hot um, because the temperature shouldn't uh, uh, go above 35. But I see that we still have some uh, some uh, uh, lumps inside, so a bit more. Still uh, bumpy, but what's the temperature? We're good. Ah, oh, we're good. It's a bit too hot. We'll give it a minute. In the meanwhile, I will think how I'm going to take this into my kitchen with you in my hand. I'm not sure about it. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'll start with taking the bowl to the kitchen where I'm going to walk. Let's give it another go. Let's check the temperature. Okay. Ah, yes, all good. No, still some lamps. I think it's good enough, especially since uh, the whole point of the cocoa blocks is to melt them again. So it's okay if we still have some crystals inside. Okay, I think that what I will do is to open the screw here and take the whole pot with me. This is heavy, very heavy. Okay. Oh, 
this is my reflection. Okay. So I'll start by moving all the material into the bowl and without losing material as much as possible. I'm using uh, the bowl I had the cocoa butter inside, so it doesn't look clean, but it is for our purpose. This is the definition of test kitchen. <laughs> The first time I'm doing it here. Okay. I think. Okay. I put it down and then remove the material. I know it's just for testing, but I hate to lose anything related to chocolate. I might be a little bit crazy, but that's me. Okay. Oh. And now for the mass. So this is a mixture of milk powder and cocoa butter. This is part of our patent. Um, and it's going to be the milk cocoa blocks for preparing customized chocolate. I'm very happy to share that my son is following, following my footsteps and joining me in chocolate making. So he helped me uh, put it on last night. And we left it for the whole night and most of the morning uh, just to refine the milk particles so we will get a smooth smooth mixture i think i got most of the material from the bowl from this big pot of the refiner. It is quite heavy and big for me, but for making chocolate, it's very small. It's the smallest refiner available. So it's great for testing. Okay, I think I will wash my hands and take a new spatula before starting to pour. I don't like to walk in a messy environment. Wait a minute, I'm bringing a new a clean spatula. Okay, so now we're testing these new molds. Uh, here I already placed them on a tray because they are silicone made, so we need something to hold them so they won't deform and spill all the chocolate, which will be a shame. 